What's up, Vol fans? What's up, SEC fans? What's up, ACC fans? Catfish here. Bringing it to you live from Council Bluffs, Iowa. We have a very special show in store for you today. We, we're mainly SEC on this show, but I've been getting quite a few Clemson fans rearing their ugly heads on my on my comment sections. And one of them is on the show with us today, Pigskin Pete. How you doing, Pigskin? I'm doing great, Catfish. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Pigskin Pete here. Happy Championship Week to everybody. Well, we're glad you're on the show. I've got a couple of questions for you. What do you think your Clemson Tigers are, are up against this weekend in, in the Miami Hurricanes? Uh, well, if you look at everything on paper, uh, both offensively and defensively, uh, if you just looked at it on paper, you'd say that Clemson's going to smoke Miami. Uh, now, personally, I have the feeling that anytime you have two 11 and one teams uh, that are playing for a conference championship game, you can pretty much throw all those stats out the window. Uh, the only stat that really matters, uh, I believe, at the end of this game is going to be the turnover margin. And, and that's what Miami's best at. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But um, I, I think the other real, real edge that Clemson has in this game is, is experience. Uh, experience being in championship games. Experience being in the playoff games. Uh, experience being in national championship games. And, and that's really one of the things that Dabo's done there is build a culture of winning. Um, so I, I fully expect them to come out on top. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it were a close game, though. And I expect Miami to, to show up and, and play the best game of the year this, uh, this week. Well, you're talking about experience. So who on Clemson do you feel is the leader of this team in the locker room? Is there anybody in particular that, that – that the team really leads on and feeds off of that us SEC fans may not know that much about that, that uh, you could tell us about? Uh, well, well, Clemson does have uh, only six seniors on this roster, which makes them a very young team. And that could be kind of scary for teams coming up in these next few years. Mm -hmm. um, I think though that on offense, I think Kelly Bryant has really emerged as a leader. He is only a first year starter this year, but he's a junior. He's been there. He's been there for two years already. Uh, and he, he learned from the best. He learned from Deshaun Watson about how to be a leader. Uh, Hunter Renfro is another one um, who's a wide receiver. And those two guys, probably the two leaders of the offense uh, on defense. Uh, some of the younger guys are actually leaders. People like De Dexter Lawrence and Cleveland Farrell, uh, two young guys two dynamic players. Now, the, the Clemson's defense is loaded with NFL talent. So as far as the leadership, that's, that's one thing that's, it's, it's, it's hard to define one guy on the team uh, because that's another thing that Dabo has really done there has built a culture of winning. And there's, it's more of a family type uh, leadership atmosphere than it is just one guy sort of leading the charge. Well, you mentioned mentioned Dexter Lawrence. I just saw an article on him how they're comparing him to the next Nadamakan Sue, but only bigger. Tell tell us SEC fans about this youngin. He's just a sophomore. Yeah, he he's a beast. So he's six four, three forty. He's a sophomore, like you said. Uh, he was a five star recruit, the, the second overall uh, defensive recruit coming out of high school in two thousand fifteen. He's actually from Wake Forest, North Carolina, uh, but. He came on the scene as a freshman last year and really uh, looked like a senior, uh, dominated. I think he had 10 sacks, uh, 20, 20 tackles for loss, uh, ACC All-American, uh, ACC All-American academic also, so he's a smart guy and a good kid. And he'll be a, a first-round draft pick uh, whenever he comes out of Clemson, uh, no doubt. Well, let's talk about Dabo Sweeney. Um, there's a lot of – People are already starting to see the the end to the Nick Saban era. So, uh, what are you thinking about if Nick Saban gives it up? Are you a little bit worried about old Sweeney going over to his alma mater at Alabama? I personally am not. Uh, there are a, a, a large sector of Clemson fans that do think he will leave, and you couldn't blame him. I mean, he played at Alabama. Uh, he coached at Alabama. So, but here's the here's the the reason I don't think he's going to leave unless he's forced out, which I don't think is happening anytime soon, uh, is because if you do go to Alabama, if, if you're Coach Sweeney, you, look who you have to live up to. 
<laughs> yeah, Bear Bryant and Nick Saban. Um, he's built something at Clemson that's his. Uh, he, it's, it's his own legacy. Uh, and he's young enough. He's only in his 40s. He's not even 50 yet. So he's young enough to build uh, a real legacy. And, you know, if, if Saban does retire in the next few years, uh, potentially surpass Saban's national championships uh, at Clemson. Um, now, that's projecting ahead. I know I'm not comparing uh, Dabo to, to Saban. So all you SEC fans out there, before you start jumping on me about that, I'm not comparing the two. I'm just saying that he's young enough and good enough that given time, that, that is a possibility. Um, I don't see him leaving Clemson anytime soon. His son's a freshman that plays on Clemson's football team. Uh, he has another son that, uh, that's younger that I think also wants to play at Clemson. So if you just look at it that way, uh, that's going to put him there for the next four to six, seven, eight years at least. So I think he's safe there for now. Well, there's a lot of coming out of the media where I read that uh, Venables is a candidate for the Arkansas job. Now, I wish my Tennessee Vols would hire him. Y'all have seen my video on the Brent Venables uh, hire and what I think of him. Tell everybody what you think as a Clemson fan uh, about your defensive coordinator, Brent Venables, and what, what a team would be getting in him. Well, the guy's a winner. Um, when he coached at Oklahoma, he was a winner. Uh, if, you, if you just look at his resume as far as uh, big games and wins, uh, both in the Big 12 and in the ACC, it's astronomical. I mean, the guy's a winner. Uh, he's a one hell of a recruiter. Uh, he's a great family guy. It, he would make a great, great head coach. Um, whoever gets him will be lucky. Uh, he also did interview for that Mississippi State job. I don't know if you know that. Uh, but they ended up giving that to the, the Penn State uh, coordinator. Um, I think that it's only a matter of time before he goes. Now, he's another one that has two sons that are committed to Clemson to play football there. But the fact that he's giving interviews to these teams mean that he, means that he does have some interest in it. And mm -hmm. it's, not, it's, it's not a matter of if, but when he gets a head coaching job. And whoever gets him is going to be getting a steal. And I think that he's the type of person uh, that can take the sort of culture that, uh, that Dabo has built at Clemson and build something like that somewhere else because he has that mentality. And, he, and he's, like I said, he's a winner. So uh, we'll be sad to see him go, but whoever gets him will be getting a gem for sure. Well, that leads me into the, uh, the next question as far as ACC versus SEC. Um, I get a lot of SEC viewers on my show, obviously, but I, I do have several that are S ACC fans. I want you to tell all these SEC fans, these viewers out here, tell us why you think the ACC is better than the SEC. Now, you're going to have to bring it. You've you got to be convincing because, look, I'm an SEC homer. So if you, if you can convince me, you might be able to convince some of them viewers. But tell everybody why you think S ACC is better than the SEC. All right. Well, anybody who's watched my channel knows I do a lot of trash talking, mainly to South Carolina and the SEC. Um, now, a lot of what I say in those videos is just trolling. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe all of it. Um, I don't think I, I say things like the SEC is horrible and they're trash. Of course, I don't really believe that. Uh, but the thing that SEC fans need to understand is and anytime I get into debate with an SEC fan about who's better, they always want to go back 5, 10, 15 years um, and say, well, we have more national championships. Just look at the national championships, you know, uh, over the past 10 years and, and whatever. I want to look at a smaller sector. OK, let's go back four years. Let's let's talk about this year and let's say three years prior. If you do that. The numbers don't lie, okay? Let's just start with national championships. Uh, so the ACC has two in the past four years. The SEC has one, and the Big Ten has one. Um, if you look at bowl matchups, head-to-head uh, -head matchups and bowl games between ACC teams and SEC teams over the past four years, the ACC comes out on top on those. If you look at these in-state rivalries that happen every year over the past four years, there's four of them. Uh, Florida and Florida State, Georgia and Georgia Tech, Clemson and South Carolina, and then, of course, Louisville and Kentucky. In the past four years, the ACC is 13 and three in those games. So when you add all these things up, you have to come to the conclusion that whether or not you think the, SC, the ACC or the SEC is better, 
that the AC, the SEC is not dominating college football anymore, uh, like they were five, 10, 15 years ago. There's, the gap has really closed, um, and some would even argue that the ACC has passed them. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not willing to go that far yet. Uh, there's still another couple years really to to to, to figure that out. But I, I do get it, it does get under my skin when SEC fans pretend that they are still the dominant force in football because the numbers just don't suggest it. That's all. Well, I have to give it give you that the ACC is the reigning national champions. And uh, I do see the SEC slipping a little bit. I don't know how far as far as the conference as a whole. And I see the ACC over the last five, six years starting to rise. So you do have a point there. But I, you know, I, I'm just going to end with this. That was last year. This is this year. You're looking at number two ranked, number five ranked, number six ranked SEC. And uh, I think I think. The gap, I think the gap is closing. I admit that. Now, the best team in the SEC this year so far is Auburn, and they lost to Clemson, so don't forget that. Yeah, but this is an SEC show. We, we don't take facts too good around here if it, <laughs> if it counters our perception. So, right. uh, you know, we're fans, you know. Yeah, well, I am I'm sure glad. I, I'm sure glad you were on my show, and everybody check out Pigskin Pete. I'm going to put his link in to his channel in the description. He's been following my channel for a long time and go over and sub him up. And thanks again, Pigskin. You know, yeah. I'm gonna, I want you to say it with me. Go Vols. We're go going 15-0. I promise you that. <laughs>